want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't Hurts. handle the truth. Hurts. The pass. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh my god. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, um, people ask me, or you know, sometimes we get Eagle fans, why are you doing videos here, uh, you know, about the Eagles and things, and even Cowboy fans? Well, I realized something that, you know, if you watch, like, uh, Star Trek, you know, there's the neutral zone, right? Which is kind of the no man's land. Well, I think between Philly 500 and me, there's the neutral zone. It's the conversion of the Cowboys and fan and, and Eagle fan bases where we kind of go after each other. Uh, it, it's true. We, you guys know how many Eagle fans and how they were going through and, you know, literally laughing at us about Jason Peters. and Oh, man, yeah, he's a, you know, he's old. Ah. But you know what? I think they'll protest too much. And, and as much as the Eagles – fans have been coming to us and telling us how much we suck and how bad we're going to be. It, you know, it's almost like they're trying to convince themselves. I think they're actually a little bit worried about the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I'm not going to say that Jason Peters is the guy that he used to be and stuff like that, but he's definitely a, an improvement over some of the guys that we have as backups. It's going to take some time for him to be ready to play, but I feel good about him. The funny thing is, and, and this may be the case, you know, Philly 500, you know, he, he's, he's one of my kids. He, he doesn't want to admit it, but he is one of my kids. And I feel like Papa Smurf when it comes to YouTube. I, you know, I've worked with a lot of different guys and stuff from E2 Blue, DMV and things. Hell, I, Mike Fisher, actually, when he was down to, you know, first starting out with 1,000 subscribers, you know, gave him some pointers and he'd ask me questions and stuff. And definitely have helped my son, Philly 500, here over and over again because, well, let's face it, he's a dingbat. And he'll tell you he's a dingbat, and he'll tell you that I've helped him out a hell of a lot as well. But if you listen to Philly 500, shout out to him because, you know, he's kind of the voice of Eagles Nation after e EDP left. You know, you got to say that Philly 500 is the big guy. And the funny thing is, is anytime the Eagles sign somebody, I'm beginning to understand the pattern here. They are the greatest player out there that everything is is great news this is a huge signing and kind of oversells a lot of this stuff have you heard a single signing that the eagles have done that he says man this is just a bum uh, i don't know what we're gonna get out of this guy uh, who, who knows what he's still got left you never hear that he's a journeyman no everybody gets pumped up like crazy and let me give you an example of my son um, who, you know, he, he, let me give you an example. What an idiot! Oh. What an idiot! Oh, I'm sorry. That, that, that's the wrong, wrong camera. Sorry. Let, let's listen to my son here real quick. Wow! I mean, wow! The Eagles signed Ryan Kerrigan. Who would have thought we'd ever see that? And who would have seen it coming this year? Uh, you can forget... All that talk about, hey, the Eagles only care about winning in two or three years. They don't care about this upcoming season. The signing of Ryan Kerrigan tells us one thing. It tells us the Eagles are coming for the NFC East. 18th pick in the NFL draft. Hey, make us lunch. We're hungry. That's right. Gets knocked out by the kids. King Dingbat is 100. Dallas still stinks. You're right the way, King Dingbat. Here, and I hope everybody's having a great morning. I hope you guys are doing well. So we got some Eagles breaking news, and I just woke up not too long ago, getting ready to leave, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, out of left field, and this is 
Total Howie Roseman, Howie Vision type move. The Eagles go ahead and sign Ryan Kerrigan. I never thought I would see Ryan Kerrigan wear an Eagles uniform. It's crazy how things work, but Ryan Kerrigan signs a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. And I absolutely love this for this upcoming year. This is a great move for this year, and it shows me that the Eagles are not just letting this year go by. They're not just going to not address the cornerback situation. Uh, they have a plan, and they have a plan to be competitive this year and try to win a division. And bringing in Ryan Kerrigan solidifies that thought for me. Uh, I think this is a great move. I think this is a sneaky move. I think this is a move that I absolutely love. Yes, Ryan Kerrigan is not the same player he was a few years ago. Yes, his snaps have been dramatically decreased over the years. I mean, look at Washington's defensive line. It's killer. It is, it is a great defensive line. But when you look at the Eagles and you look at what we need, one of the areas of weakness we have is at the defensive end spot because Derek Barnett is a huge question mark. I actually uh, like Josh Sweat better than Derek Barnett. And I don't think Ryan Kerrigan is coming in to necessarily start over Derek Barnett. He's not coming in for that. He's coming in to be a rotational piece. I think of uh, Chris Long, right, when he was there and how he rotated in with the Eagles was used as a, as a pass rush specialist. This pass is what rush I specialist. see Ryan Kerrigan coming in and doing. Uh, now, when you get Ryan Kerrigan and you got Brandon Graham, you got Derek Barnett, you got Josh Sweat, you got this rotation, uh, you know, staying fresh and rotating it out. I think this is a huge move for the Eagles. This is a move that says to me, yo, NFC East, we are coming to win this division. We can win this division. It's not just Dallas or Washington. We can win this division because you don't make this move if you're not trying to be competitive next year. Now, I'm not saying the Eagles are Super Bowl contenders or anything like that. I'm saying within the division, they feel they can win it, and I totally agree with them. I totally agree because I don't think this division is that good. And bringing in Ryan Kerrigan at 32 years old, uh, I love it. And, and maybe he'll have a good influence on a guy like Derek Barnett. Uh, Derek Barnett is a first-round pick. He's in the last year of a contract. And let's face it, we need him to live up to where he was picked. We do. Then you have guys like Josh Sweat who have gotten better and better and better and better each year. I love Josh Sweat. You know what I mean? I love him. Pause. So I love this move. I think this is a great move. It's just breaking now. And I expect the Eagles to still out go get a corner. Uh, I think you're going to see some of those things. Um, Ryan Kerrigan, a one-year deal, is a great thing. And I do expect more signings after June 1st once you clear that all Sean Jeffrey money, that Malik Jackson money. But this is a very, very good thing. And uh, I'm going to try to go live um, some point uh, this afternoon. So look for that, and we'll talk about it. It should be fun. Um, I'm not sure when, maybe in a few hours from the time this video gets up. Okay. So, Ryan Kerrigan. Ryan Kerrigan. Who, congratulations to Ryan Kerrigan, who um, retired after getting that stench of the Philadelphia Eagles on him. Um, and is now actually an assistant uh, defensive line coach for the Washington Commanders. Congratulations to him that he's gotten a new gig. Um you know, in, in retirement. And, you know, it's, it's a, he's he's been a good player. Now, I'm not going to trash Ryan Kerrigan, but when the Eagles signed him, he was definitely in the tail end of his career. You know, but you heard Philly 500. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. He's going to be a pass rush specialist. Let's go to the numbers of what Ryan Kerrigan did. He was active for 16 games. Let's see. Did he actually start to? He started two games at defensive end. He had three combined tackles, three solos, and one was a tackle for a loss. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Um, not going to say that that was exactly great numbers but you know again that's right Vado that that's oh, Vado. That, that that's right Vado 
F the Eagles. Um, I'm not going to say that that was a horrible move, but the excitement that you get every time Philly 500 gets every time they sign somebody, you kind of have to look at it with a little bit of a side eye here because it's not always as great as he thinks. If you are listening to Philly 500 and believing that the Eagles are all of a sudden going to be the best team in the NFC, maybe it could happen, but I won't count on it. Hope to see you guys here tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. we got a lot of stuff going on with the Jason Peters signing with Tampa Bay on the clock. Um, Miles, uh, Chris, uh, Chris Godwin is actually practicing and could actually play this weekend. So we've got a lot of moving parts and a lot of things to start discussing. And I hope to see you guys here tonight. But as always, I appreciate you guys. Peace.